Good morning, Bloom Trojans. This is the Friday Show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Scene, Fine Art Classes. I am your host, Anaya, and on activities, we have Deshaun, and on sports, we have Deshaun. It is Friday, November 15, 2024, and you're watching Bloom Scene. <laughs> Now for our top story, registration for next year's classes begins soon. Did you know that the Fine Arts Department has a wide variety of unique classes? Hi, I'm Dr. Philbin. I'm one of the art teachers here at Bloom, and I'm the Fine Arts Coordinator for Bloom. Um, and I've been at Bloom for, since 1999, so I've been doing this for quite a while. So um, Bloom has a lot of Fine Arts classes. Um, so in the Visual Arts Department, um, we offer Art Fundamentals, which is kind of that main foundation class where you first learn uh, you know, drawing skills, lots of color skills, value skills, blending skills, things like that. Um, then we go up to drawing and painting. And then there's um, an upper level with AP where you could do AP drawing. Um, then we also have some digital art classes. So we've got um, photography, we have graphic arts, and then you can also move up to AP two-dimensional design. Um, we have some three-dimensional classes uh, like ceramics. And then um, we also have a newer class, which is graphic novels man and manga, where uh, the students actually literally write and create their very own graphic novel. Um, we also have AP art, uh, AP art history, which hasn't been taught in a while, but um, it is a course offering. And we also have um, art and music appreci appreciation, which is also a course offering. As far as the music department goes, um, we have choir, we have a band program, we have AP music theory, we have music industry, we have show choir, um, we've got marching band, we've got concert band. So if you are interested in any of these classes and you want more information, ask your guidance counselor and they'll have um, kind of a course description guide or come see the art teachers. So you can come see me, um, Ms. Gowan, Ms. Um, Levinson in the music department. We've got Ms. Harrigan, we've got Ms. Diaz, we've got Mr. Balecki, and we have Ms. Hutchinson. So we've got a big team that are willing to talk to you about our classes. Talk to your counselors about fine arts electives. Ladies in Progress is still collecting socks for the homeless throughout the month of November. Our goal is to collect 800 pairs of socks. Socks must be new. All socks are appreciated. Socks for newborn children, boys, girls, men and women. Fun socks. Solid patterns and colorful socks. Please encourage students to participate. That's it for announcements. Let's take it to Deshaun with our activities. Thanks, Anaya. There will be a club and activities fair during all lunch periods on Friday, December 6th. Come check out what Bloom has to offer. Bloom Drama Club proudly presents me and girls in the work auditorium. You still have three chances to catch the show. Friday, November 15th, Saturday, November 16th at 7 p.m. And there will also be a matinee at 2 p.m. on Saturday, November 16th. The tickets are $8 for adults and $5 for students with an ID. And senior citizens, children under 5 are free. But due to themes and language, this show is not recommended for children under 12. It would be so fetch if you could come. That is it for our activities. Now let's take it to Deshaun with sports. Thanks, Deshaun. The Scholastic Bowl team heads to their next competition on Wednesday, November 20th at Bloom Trail. Meet in Mr. Cook's room after school. We will head to the bus around 3.30. If you have not turned in a permission slip, make sure you bring it. The girls' basketball season starts soon with a game against Batavia on Friday, November 22nd. The boys' basketball season start begins with the annual Chicago Heights Classic the week of Thanksgiving, starting on Monday, November 25th. That's it for sports, let's take it back to a night. That's Bloom Scene, teachers. Email your announcements to Mr. Cook and we will see you here again.